So, I don't know if you were aware of this, but last night, the Oscars took place, which is funny to me because it's like, did we even get enough movies for there to be an awards ceremony? Maybe they just nominated all the movies that came out for 2021. Nothing highlights this more than the fact that right now, Pinocchio is trending. Why is it trending? Well, apparently, there was a live-action version that came out this year. Well, not this year, last year for 2020. But the point is, nobody knew it existed. <laughs> it get, nobody nobody knew because nobody was watching TV. Everybody was watching older stuff. All year, that was what people were mostly watching, were old movies and stuff like that. Because there, no, there was no real new entertainment to put out. And if anybody was tuning in for new stuff, they immediately tuned out because every single... Every single piece of entertainment, particularly sports, was deciding to jump right in with the political atmosphere of the time and started turning off viewers. Biggest culprit of that being the NBA, which suffered disastrous ratings. I think it's still down like 40% or something. So a lot of people just didn't know. I didn't even know yesterday were the Oscars until like they were already going on. I think somebody said the Oscars are happening and. So, oh, well, I don't even know because I, mean, I just I just don't care. And I don't think I'm the only one. Now, the ratings aren't out for the Oscars yet. They'll probably be out in an hour or so after this video comes out. And I imagine they're going to be a disaster. They're probably going to be the lowest rated Oscars ever. Now, this could, this could be false. It could end up being high or, or regular, but I'd say it's it's... Almost a bet that I'd be willing to put a lot of money down on that the ratings will be low because the award season was disastrous last year. Every, the Grammys in particular had the lowest ratings ever. They were embarrassing. I remember when they dropped Batwoman. I was waiting on Batwoman ratings and they delayed releasing the ratings information that day to like the afternoon because they were almost dumbfounded that the ratings were so low. So they were like, whoa, whoa, this has to be a mistake. And they were saying they lost data and stuff and they weren't sure. And the fact is they were just, they were hiding it because it was, it was embarrassing how low, how low they were. I imagine it's going to be, this is going to be the lowest rated Oscars ever. And I imagine it's going to be embarrassingly low. It's going to almost be laughable how bad it'll be. And they brought it to themselves. You know, you see stuff like this. No one wants to see this. Okay, they turned uh, an acceptance speech into, into a uh, defund the police speech. Okay, it's not a popular slogan. Just a bunch of super far left weirdos support that. And then a lot of the stuff that got nominated, nobody knows what it is. I, I haven't heard of, I've heard of maybe like two of these movies, two or three of them. And that includes the nominees. <laughs> it's like they just picked everything that came out. What was really funny too about all this is uh, Twitter Twitter's furious that Chadwick Boseman didn't win. I was actually surprised he didn't win. I mean, usually when somebody dies, they almost always give it to them if they're up for a nomination. So they gave it to Anthony Hopkins and not Chadwick Boseman. So people are once again calling the Oscars racist, even though this is quoted the wokest Oscars ever from multiple outlets. They're all like, this is the wokest Oscars ever. What a great achievement. In fact, they even put that in. This article right here, why that's okay, that it'll be the lowest. Well, it's an achievement. It's so the best. <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. So, of course, it's still racist, despite that. I didn't see these movies, so I can't I can't say who did a better job in, in either of these movies. I'm probably not going to watch it because uh, all these movies are depressing and and woke. If not both. So it's like, I just, I'm not interested in this trash, but here's the biggest thing that I want to close off with, and that's hypocrisy. So these, these Oscars that happened this year, 
are quoted as the wokest ever. And that's what made it so great, despite the low ratings, right? So despite being woke, what did they do? Well, the L.A. homeless that were living around where the ceremony happened, well, they made sure to shoo them all away. Got to get rid of them so that we can be activists. (laughs) Limousine liberals is a very good term for these people. Because they don't really do anything. It's just, they just they just talk about the pointers, the points of it, because they want to sound woke, but they don't really do what they they don't practice what they preach. That's why as soon as anything happens, they shoo away, they shoo away the homeless because well that would make the scene look bad, right? Well, they're not really doing anything. You would think that they would maybe invite these people to live in their multiple homes, you know, but they don't. They don't. They just shoo them away, and then they can maybe talk about you know, doing something about homeless populations in a speech. We can't really do that if you've got them hanging out, <laughs> hanging out and, uh, you know, maybe drinking some booze in front of the, in front of the Oscar hall that they're at. So, oh, and, uh, I guess one of them didn't like, like, didn't really like take off and he, he mugged somebody that worked at the Oscars. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, There's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double-check on that, and subscribe if you're new.